Hey YouTube, a lot of people have been asking me, where do you catch Rayquaza, Groudon, and Kyogre in Project Polaro? In this video, I'll show you guys how. So to catch Groudon and Kyogre, you're going to need to have a Rayquaza in our party, so we should catch Rayquaza first. To catch Rayquaza, you need to talk to this NPC in Mount Cinnabar that tells you that he has a hunch that rare Pokemon can spawn in this location. Whatever he says has a rare Pokemon, like for example, he says here that Route 2 has rare Pokemon. Go to that location, as that's where Rayquaza has a very low spawn rate. Wherever he, the place that he tells you to go changes every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, like time it on your phone or something, uh, talk to that, go back to Mount Cinnabar, talk to that same NPC, and he will tell you a brand new location where Rayquaza has spawned. He's like a Roman legendary in this game, which makes him really annoying and hard to get. But in this video, I will be catching him. Okay, I'll cut to when I catch him. See you guys. Okay, after spending my whole night hunting for this thing, I finally found it. That took like six hours of hunting. And I found so many legendaries, legendary skins, dark skinifiers before I found this thing. Which doesn't make sense, but at least we found it. Okay, let me just try to chuck Pokeballs at it. And once we catch this thing, then we can actually get Groudon and Kyogre, which are way more common to get than Rayquaza. Okay, this thing does not want to catch. I can't damage it or anything since I don't have a false swiper. I will be making a video what, what the best false swiper is in Project Polaro, but unfortunately, I don't have it in my party right now. So I just have to throw repeat balls over and over again until I catch it. And this thing like is barely shaking. I might just cut to when I catch it because I feel like this one's going to take a while. Okay, I'll cut to when I catch it, guys. Okay, it's been 10 whole minutes. This thing does not want to catch. Oh, this, this thing is such a pain. Come on, come on. Finally, this thing is captured. Okay, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the video for all the weather trio to one lucky person that commented on my previous video. I'll announce the winner by the end, but that's crazy. I actually found a Rayquaza. That took way too long. Out of nature and one aura. Okay, I'll cut to when I get ground on the Kyogre. See you guys. No joke, like... My sec my encounter right after Rayquaza was Groudon. I'm not even joking. Like, as you guys can see, it's the same exact Lavender Town route. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll cut to when I get Kyogre. Okay, that one was not so fast. Uh, I found a Kyogre like five minutes after catching Rayquaza, but I accidentally killed it. So, this is... I, f I had to hunt for a second Kyogre, which took around five minutes. Not bad. Okay, first catch. That's cool. Okay, that's nice. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, I have a little bonus for you guys. Um, while hunting for dark skinifiers, I found this hollow Rayquaza. And I, I met a subscriber on in the chat. And he asked me for a free Pokemon. So I, I said, if once I capture this thing, I'll give it away. But this thing took way too long to capture. Like, way too long. So it, I ended up just having to waste the Master Brawl in it. Because it was using struggle and it was gonna kill itself, but I just gave it to this lucky subscriber and hopefully he enjoyed it. So the winner is for the um, for the giveaway for all three um, weather trio is uh, this this guy uh, Terry Nguyen. Uh, you win the weather trio because you commented on my previous video, and just comment your Roblox username in the description. And I'll add you on Roblox, and I'll give you uh, the weather trio. Thank you guys for watching this video, and please like, like and subscribe, as that will help a lot. And thanks for watching. See ya.